Carolyn Mackey says, on the money going into the foundation, does it have to be W-2 or could it be 1099? It can be 1099. It okay. Whatever ends up, Carolyn, that ends up in the um, AGI, Adjusted Gross Income. So you can go back to your last year's tax return and you can look at that number and say, oh my gosh, I could have taken 30% of that and put it over into my foundation that I have complete dominion and control over instead of sending it off to the government. There's a thought. <laughs> and there's a second part of that. She said, does the money, does the person putting the money in the foundation pay any taxes prior to going to the foundation or is that taxes taken care of at the adjusted gross level income? Well, it actually reduces your AGI by that 30%. So once you land at that number, you take 30% of that number, gift it to your foundation, and that new number is what you pay taxes on. And like I said, you can boost that up to 50% if you want to take another 20% and give it to a public foundation. 